hey, how'd you do on that taboo thing yesterday? I'd really love you to share it with me. No, just kidding. Remember, it's personal. All right, today, here's what we're going to do. I want you to list five things that you tend to beat yourself up about. Yeah, see, in the very beginning of the book, we kind of explored the joy, the childhood, and all that fun stuff. Now let's see if we can't squash some of your demons so that we can rebuild you to be bigger, stronger, and better. The six million dollar man, or woman, Jamie Summers, can you name her? Yeah, that was Lindsay Wagner, by the way. Okay, five things you tend to beat yourself up about. I will share mine. One, I beat myself up all the time about having the perfect body. At least I used to. Oh, I mean, cause this is so common. Do you say this? I wish I had this. I wish I had bigger boobs. I wish I had a smaller waist. I wish I. Stop doing that, okay? Stop giving your body those bad messages. Sorry, that was a sidebar. It may not be the thing that you're beating yourself up about. Let me give you the rest of mine. Um, oh, one of mine. I wish I'd done more when I was younger. You know, if you always said, ah, I wish I knew what I know now. That's what I beat myself up about. I wish I had done more. I think I took some time off and played and did all those things. I personally wouldn't change anything, but every once in a while I take the thing out and I beat myself up. Um, I beat myself up often about not being a better mom. I know I do a good job. I always want to do better. But I beat myself. Do you, you, you feel this? You go, wait, wait. I'm sure I could have 10 people say, Forbes, you're a perfect mom. I beat myself up about it. These are things we want to stop doing. I beat myself up oh, about being in love. You know, I dream that perfect romantic love, especially if you've been married for a long time, you forget what that feels like. And then I beat myself up about not doing enough for others. All the time I'm thinking, wow, why don't I give more to this charity? Why don't I spend more time doing that? I listen to Angelina Jolie flying around the world and saving children, going to refugee camps. I probably do a lot. I keep feeling I don't do enough. I want you to write the things down that you beat yourself up about. Then I want you to take that same pen and I want you to think about how can you change that? Because the truth is, I don't really care what the things are. I care about you stop beating yourself up. Just that word, just that visual, just breaks my heart. We do that so often. I got a girlfriend of mine who just complains about her thighs all the time. Oh, my thighs, they touch, I just can't stand it. I, I, get liposuction, I don't know, do something. But if you keep beating yourself up, it's that negative that just builds and festers. We gotta turn these things into positives, whatever they are. But first, and this is the most important point of this journal, you gotta identify it. You gotta look at the foods that you eat that are hurting you or making you healthy. You gotta look at the things that are beating you up. Then, finally, I want you to be very honest with yourself. If you come up with the solutions, are you willing to change? Notice I just made it a checkbox, yes or no. I'm hoping that you check yes. But then I went one step further. It's not about the change, it's about committing to buy when. Yes, I'm going to stop doing that by and then I put a place for the date. How honest and how full out are you playing this game? Only you can answer that.